for years. I've always wanted to have my own soda fountain. I could never afford one, so I built one. I'll show you how I did it. The original machine was a converted water cooler. I made it with parts from a refrigerator that had a soda stream module in it. I made the syrup pumps from store-bought pumps, adding a 3D printed camshaft, a ice maker motor to pump the syrup. The syrup mixer was nothing more than a few elbows and some pipes. I installed the soda stream parts into the water cooler, built some hardware to control the filling and gas charging, some more hardware to control the syrup filling. The original machine worked okay, but it needed a lot of improvement. During the COVID lockdown, a restaurant near me went out of business, and when the new restaurant moved in, they gutted the place and threw out all the old equipment into the parking lot. They had thrown out an eight-flavor ice-cooled soda fountain and two carbonators, the rest of the pieces that I had to buy myself. The next step was finding a suitable mini-fridge to install it into. I selected a few different models and made a lot of measurements to see which one would fit properly. I eventually found a refrigerator that was the perfect size and also did not have a freezer. This allowed me to keep the entire unit at refrigerator temperature and not have to remove any freezer parts. I designed how it would look in CAD just to see how everything would fit. Once I had it the way I wanted it, I started hooking up the hoses and installing the components. I figured out that I would need three flavors. I drilled the holes in the doors to fit using the old bracket as a template, after which I installed the three taps on the front door started plumbing the hoses and the wires through. Each tap requires 18 volts to operate. I then insulated the door to keep the cold inside. Once the door was insulated, I started placing everything just the way I wanted it. A five gallon water bottle supplies all the water needed for weeks of operation. A small CO2 canister provides the gas to make the carbonated water. Under the refrigerator, there's a high pressure water pump which fills the soda carbonator. Also, a small air compressor. The syrup is stored in five gallon boxes and is supplied via air powered pumps. All the plumbing enters the refrigerator directly in front of the compressor. This is the carbonator bottle. It's responsible for mixing water with CO2.